With the recent Canva Magic Studio unveiling, you probably now see this magic switch button at the top of your Canva interface, replacing where the magic resize button used to be. But is this actually anything new? Well, not really. It really is just sort of a reorganization of the Canva user interface, where they're now taking that translate feature, which you used to have to go and find under apps, and they're taking that magic resize feature, and they're combining it all into this one new location called Magic Switch. So if you want to see how this is set up, or you just need a reminder of how those features work, stay tuned to this video because I'm going to cover that all for you now. Okay, so as mentioned, this magic switch is not really new functionality in Canva, rather just a reorganization of things where they've given it a new name and they've moved that translate option, which used to have to go and find other apps. Now you can find it right under here, so it's a little bit more convenient. And they've also used that resize option, which was up here called magic resize, but now they're both under this magic switch option. So let's see how it works. So I just have a presentation here with some different slides in here, but let's say I wanna translate this. Let's say I wanna resize this. So let's come under the magic switch switch option here and you can see right up top you have this translate option you can also transform it into a doc but we're going to use this translate option so I'm just going to come into here uh, again you can use this drop down you can type for what language you want I'm just going to search Spanish there's Spanish I can select Spanish and then under here you could select some of these pages uh, if you want only some of these pages by default it's going to have all pages checked and that's what I want in this case so I'm going to leave all pages checked and then if I wanted to translate this without creating a copy I could do that but if you just click the translate bot button it's going to create a new copy and preserve whatever original language you have so I'm going to go ahead and click translate now and we can see translating your uh, language to Spanish and now we can open that presentation and now we see suddenly we have this translated to Spanish so instead of hello we now have hola and so now we have this in Spanish now the other part of this is if we come up under here and we use magic switch again underneath all of that you have all of these resize options if you have some ones that you used recently they're going to populate up here but then you can also come down here and choose custom sizes or you can go in under the different categories so let's say you knew you wanted to translate this presentation to a social media format maybe I want this to be an Instagram square format uh, and I could go down here I could check other ones if I wanted so let me just do another one here let me just do a Facebook uh, story as well and then I'm going to go ahead and hit I could hit continue, but actually what I want to do is back out now because I want to come in here and you can see that I have two selected. So it recognized this, that I checked some under social media here, but I can come in under other ones here. So if I wanted to do a website as well, I could come in here, check that back out. You can see now I have three selected. So as you go into these different categories, you can check, check some on, then you can back out. You can come into other categories so you can check as many as you want. It works just like it did before with magic resize where you can check a whole bunch of options at once. So that's very helpful because if you have regular social media platforms that you do all the time and you're sort of trying to take content and repurpose it for those other platforms, you really can select all these at once and have it generate all those formats at once. And even though you might have to do little tweaks to fix, you know, things in the final design of the spacing isn't quite right, you can really get off to a great start with this tool. And then of course, once you're ready to go here, you see how many are selected, you go ahead and hit continue. It's going to give you a little preview here. Uh, preview isn't all that helpful. It's basically just going to show you sort of the front of that. You're still going to have to step through slide by slide once you actually have that presentation just to make sure spacing things work out because it tries to do a smart job with spacing when it creates a new uh, format but sometimes things are a little bit off. But again, you can just click and see a basic little preview here, and then you can go ahead and click this resize to three designs, and it's gonna go ahead and it's gonna create those designs. It'll show you where they're saved to, uh, but you can also just open them all right here if you want to. So when I click open now, it's opening these in a new tab. And so now we can see it's gone to a square format. It's gone to this uh, other format here. And then here's the website format here. And so again, with all of these, I could come in here and I could step through and I could say, okay, here's what my website looks like if I wanted to come in here and make some other adjustments. Of course, you can still do this, but it is helpful to be able to do it all so quickly now with this magic switch button. Now again, magic resize worked pretty much the same way as this. I do like the way they've organized it now into the categories here, but I think the big help here is that they've taken the translate that used to be hidden here under apps and they've put it front and center here. So if you're creating content for different audiences, 
that may speak different languages, it is really convenient now to get all of this in one place. So again, don't be confused when you see this magic switch. It's not really new functionality, it's just functionality that existed before, they just repackaged it, reorganized it, give it a new name. So this magic switch button in Canva, let me know what you think. It just lets you easily translate things to new languages and also to new sizes, okay? So make use of it when appropriate. I hope you found this helpful and I will talk to you soon. Thank you.